Hello, this is the fifth video in the second vector series for OCR AS Pure Core Further Mathematics. It looks at the intersection of lines in three dimensions. If we think about the possible options for two lines in three dimensions, we have that they could intersect at one point, be parallel and not intersect, be parallel and collinear, i.e. the same line, or be skew. If we have a look at the photograph, we can see that the bridge strut and the bridge horizontal are lines that intersect. That the road markings on this motorway are parallel lines and that the road and the bridge are skew. I suggest you pause the video for a moment and try out these possibilities in 3D for yourself with two pens. If we are asked to find a point intersection of lines L1 given by the vector equation R equals 2i plus 4j plus 3k plus lambda i plus 4k and line L2 given by vector equation R equals minus i plus 2j plus k plus mu i plus j minus k. Then we all remember that just as we looked at in the 2D lines <coughs> that the x, y and z components must be equivalent. Therefore we can set up some equations. For the x component we have that 2 plus lambda must equal minus 1 plus mu. For the y component, that 4 will equal 2 plus mu. This indicates that mu equals 2 at that point of intersection. And for the z component, we have that 3 plus 4 lambda equals 1 minus mu. Using the substitution mu equals 2 will mean that we can work out that lambda equals minus 1. This then leads to the fact that R, or the point at which L1 and L2 intersects, may be found by substitution of either lambda or mu. Here I'm going to use that first equation for L1 and that 2, 4, 3 is the position vector to get onto the line and then using the value of minus 1 for lambda and we have 1, 0, 4 as a direction vector will get us to the point 1, 4, minus 1 as the point of intersection. You may wish to pause the video and use mu equals 2 as a substitution in L2 to check that you get the same point. In this example, we are told that if the lines L1 and L2 intersect, we need to find the value of alpha. Again, we can use the knowledge that the x, y and z coordinates will have to be the same at the point of intersection. Looking then at the z coordinates, we can see that 2 plus 4 lambda must equal 2 mu. And this gives us the substitution that mu equals 1 plus 2 lambda. If we use this in the y coordinates, we'll find that minus 1 plus 3, 3 lambda must equal minus 4 plus 3, 1 plus 2 lambda. As this gives us that minus 1 plus 3 lambda equals minus 1 plus 6 lambda, the solution is lambda equals 0. Using this substitution lambda equals 0 in the x coordinate, we'll see that 1 equals alpha.
you may wish to pause the video here and carefully check this working. In this example, you are asked to determine whether or not these lines intersect. You will remember that the possibilities were either that they are parallel or skew or that they intersect. Let's first check whether they are parallel. To be parallel, the direction vectors will be multiples of each other. Looking at minus 201 and 4 minus 25, it is easy to see by inspection that they are not parallel lines because those direction vectors are not multiples of each other. So then they are either they intersect or the lines are skew. Let's check to see if they intersect. If we write equations for the coordinates as we did before for x, 5 minus 2 lambda equals 1 plus 4 mu, for y, 12 equals 2 minus 2 mu, and for z, 2 plus lambda equals minus 3 plus 5 u, then we will have three equations in two unknowns, which will be easy to solve simultaneously. For example, using just equations 1 and 2 would give mu equals minus 5 and lambda equals 12. And we can check these values in equation 3. However, this would give us 14 equal to minus 28, which is not possible. The three equations are therefore inconsistent. Hence, the two lines, L1 and L2, do not meet. There is no point of intersection. Hence, we can state that the two lines are skew. This was the last video in the second vector series.